Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, today my theme is how to dare the impossible. How to dare the impossible. Now, it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which he have commanded you today. The Lord your God will set you above all nations of the earth and the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. God has created us to dominate the earth realm. He has given us dominion and power to be above only and not beneath. And this means that you become a super success in every endeavor. And this is God's plan for you. This is God's plan for your destiny. And I pray that that become your testimony today in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, in life, you become what you see. Uh, we read a story in Genesis chapter 13 from verses 14 to 15. And the Lord God said to Abraham, after Lot has separated from him, lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward, eastward and westward, for all the land which you see, I will give it to you and your descendant. Daring the impossible is our responsibility as children of God, as those who have been given dominion over this earth realm. We have been given the power and authority to dare every impossible situation. Therefore, as long as you see yourself at the top, you will remain at the top. May this be your portion in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to that which is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and have good success. And so you determine the kind of success that you want, not God. If you don't want the situation you're in, then you need to do something to change it. And your starting point is to seek God through the pages of the Bible with fervent prayers. There is one quality among others that causes outstanding success. And that is when you dare the impossible. It is when you are ready to do what others are afraid to do. Daring the impossible makes you a super success. Daring the impossible simply means you are brave enough to do what others have called impossible. Every man's attainment has to do with daring the impossible and what is naturally beyond your strength. In 1895, scientists came together and declared that it was impossible to fly a metal object into the sky. The leader of the pack of scientists was the Scottish-Irish physicist William Thompson, also known as Lord Kevin. This guy said that heavier than air flying machines were impossible only to be proved totally wrong eight years later. In 1903, the Wright brothers, 
disprove the theory. They flew the first metal object into the air, that which was impossible by the so-called scientists and engineers. Eight years later, the Wright brothers disprove the theory. The fact that somebody has said nobody can succeed in your family, in your career, in your field of endeavor, does not mean that you will not succeed. There is nothing called impossible in life. Regular steps brings regular results and extraordinary steps brings outstanding results. You will never encounter outstanding results until you dare to do something you have never done before. There is a story in 2 Kings chapter 7. There was no food in Israel and everybody was afraid to step out because the whole nation of Israel was under siege by the Assyrians. Four lepers said to themselves, we will go to the Assyrian camp and if we perish, we perish. Now, prophecy went forth by Elisha that by this time tomorrow, there will be abundance of food in Israel. As this prophecy came forth from Elisha, everybody was afraid except the four lepers. Only the four lepers said that they will go to the Assyrian camp because of the prophecy that has come. And when they came to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, there was nobody there. For the Lord has caused the army of the Assyrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses and the noise of a great army. So they said to themselves, the army of Israel is closing in on us. So they ran for their lives and they left their belongings, food, silver and gold. And so the four lepers went back to the camp of Israel and told them that, look, there is abundance of food, gold and silver. And therefore, as a result of the bravery of these four lepers, the children of Israel had so much abundance of food, gold and silver. It is too risky not to take a risk. It is bravery that turns ordinary people into extraordinary people. There was a young man writing a dissertation in a university and he wrote the project on the delivery of an overnight mail. In his dissertation, he described how a mail can be delivered in 24 hours but his professor gave him a C but the young man was never discouraged he dared the impossible he said to himself well I have an idea of a 24 hour mail delivery system and I'm going to put this into practice his professor went on to say what makes you think that a mail can be delivered in 24 hours. Well, the young man disproved that theory. A year later, the Federal Express was born, what is now known as FedEx. It is those that dares the impossible that changes the world. This student proved to the professor that creativity, ideas, and dreams 
can be successfully achieved. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. If you can dare to do what you dreamt, it is impossible for any demon, any devil born of a woman to stop you. Stop waiting for everything to be perfect before you step out. There is no perfection in the realm of this earth. An aircraft often flies against the wind. When an aeroplane is about to take off, it doesn't fly with the wind. It flies against the wind. So dare the impossible and the sky will be your limit. If you are waiting for the storm to cease, you will never sail. The lion never seen anybody chasing him until he saw David running after him. Then the lion ran for his life. To get extraordinary results, you need to dare the impossible. And sometimes to obey the scriptures requires us to dare the impossible. We need to remind God of his own word and his promises to commit him to perform what he has spoken. In the book of Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 to 20, God spoke to the children of Israel saying, Go around this wall of Jericho seven times. Joshua obeyed God, although it seemed absurd. Joshua obeyed. It has never happened in the history of humanity where a wall came down without a physical object. Joshua said, well, God has spoken and I'm going to take him at his word and dare the impossible. So he led his congregation. He led the children of Israel to go around the wall of Jericho. And on the seventh day, the wall of Jericho came down, tumbling. What seemed impossible for the children of Israel, by obeying the word of God, it became possible for them. Friends, your life will never move to the next level. You will never take hold of your destiny. Your life will never progress until you dare the impossible. And I pray that the God of Joshua will give you the strength and grace to dare the impossible and change every situation in your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today and we thank you for teaching us that you have created us to dare the impossible and to make impossibilities possible. And so we pray today that you strengthen us with power from on high to dare the impossible, to do the things that seems impossible. For with men, things may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible to them that believe. We thank you, Lord God, that you will help us to put what we have learned today into practice and receive the crown of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friends, I shall see you soon. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube and share this message. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>